wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Houston Texans. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And the Texans set to come onto the field. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now the rookie fourth round pick. This is Damian Pierce. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On third down, here's Mills. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 20. And right side, they're going to go option here. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On play action, now Garoppolo. Oh, what a catch by Samuel. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Garoppolo's throw complete here to Ayuk. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. So first and goal from the nine-yard line. Oh, how about this on first and goal? Now the ball comes loose. 
could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. Again, McCaffrey. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. McCaffrey. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. They tried to let the fullback pound it in between the tackles, but he stopped up short. And this Texans defense comes up with a goal line stand. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down brings. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Try to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first and 10, Mills. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. Looking to throw his mills. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing on second and eight, Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. No score after one on EA Sports. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Burkhead going to run straight ahead here. And down to the 44, five yards that time. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. They're running it. Right there, 54, right there. On second down, here's Pierce. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Out of the shotgun, a give to Burkhead. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Let's go. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Pierce takes it straight ahead, and he'll go down at the 28. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And they'll try to throw here. Mills out to the left there and complete to Howard. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Pierce now up the middle. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 18-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third and one, here's Mills. He gets it to Cooks. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Forced out to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. I think every player in the NFL would want to come back from injury, as Nick Bosa did last season. 15 and a half sacks, fourth in the NFL, after playing in only two games the prior season due to a knee injury. Mills throw complete here, pulled in by Howard. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And that will be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Mills to the sideline, and out now is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And it's now 3-0, Texans. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. Fairbair now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. 
Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Right now, I'm just wondering where they turn on offense, Charles. I know we're not in the fourth quarter, but second quarter haven't scored and struggling to move the ball. I don't think they abandoned the run game totally, but maybe you change up your tempos. Maybe you go a little bit faster, try and catch them back on their heels a little bit to try and accomplish what you want to get done. Second and 12, Garoppolo. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To throw again on second down, Garoppolo. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. Open man is Ayuk complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as that will be a gain of 15 on fourth. Good shot, good shot. Throwing now is Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Garoppolo again. And the grab by Croft. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And it's second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, 
but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterward. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Danny Gray as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Texans going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And the Texans going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Mills. He'll let one go deep for Howard. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Boy, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. On second and 11 now, Garoppolo. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey, and they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. Garoppolo now. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Oh, 
First and 10, it's Pierce. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On play action, Mills. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Not his ninth NFL season. Brandon Cooks remains a model of consistency. Had a career-best 90 catches in 2021 and his sixth 1,000-yard season in the last seven years. No surprise there that they were looking for him to pick up a first down, and he gets it done. Mills on first down. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. The second down run for Burkhead. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Bring it. Bring it. Hey, hey, watch to throw Mills. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Samson Abukum credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now to this point. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins from three yards out and the Texans have taken the lead here in this third quarter so a very strong first drive in the second half Charles as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead and they were pretty purposeful there weren't they measured in their approach but boy they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field Fairbairn good with the extra point and the lead is now 10 to 7 So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit yeah I think that they probably are but what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves they've got them now a loose football the ball comes out and the Texans say they have it they do but the tide definitely seems to be turning in this third quarter as this defense is able to knock the ball free and recover. And let's look at it this way. Their offense is right back out there who just got them the lead a few minutes ago. This has the potential to be a big swing in this game. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Up the gut with Burkhead. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Uh, give to Pierce. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. Now Mills. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Mills to throw it. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Mills to the sideline, and out now is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal try. And this one will be a 29-yard attempt. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six, and boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. Fairbair now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the 29, Garoppolo. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Jerry Hughes too strong as he's in for the sack. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports now on third and long they'll look to throw open man is samuel complete well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. 
It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their own 20-yard line. They'll get things started with a carry by Pierce. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 85 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. At carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. From the 41, Mills. Got a man. It's Collins complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 26. 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Back to the ground with Pierce. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. And that is incomplete. They certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16 to 7. Well, some field goals are bigger than others, and that one makes this a two-score game. And with the way their defense has played all game long, that's kind of a love letter to them because that might very well be all the points they need.
Fairbair now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. From the 31, Garoppolo. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly. It helped force the incompletion. The offense on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and 5. To throw. It's Garoppolo. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, partner, they've used him quite well out of the backfield in this one. And here's another nice example. They set up the screen, and he's able to pick his way downfield for a nice game there. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 45-yard line. Looking to throw Garoppolo. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. To throw is Garoppolo. That's caught by Ayuk on the slant. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Go ahead. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. Let's go, let's go. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Garoppolo to throw. Got his target, Samuel. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw, Garoppolo. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Gold with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
So a minute and change to go, and this is going to be an onside kick. And the effort snuffed out. The Texans' hands team recovers. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the give, right side, it's Burkhead. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now a handoff for Pierce. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. First down, they go right back to Pierce. Brought down at the 20. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They go again with Pierce. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Down to a knee. Here is the Texans look to let the clock roll. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And his kick here is good. And that will push the lead up to five. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. From the six. Well, they had one final chance here on the kick return, but no chance on the other side that they were going to let him navigate all the way to the end zone, Charles. And that ends up being the final play in this one. Yeah, you're right about that. Special teams coaches, they spend a lot of time working on these types of situations, and they go over every crazy possibility that can happen in this situation. They were able to cover successfully and end the game.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Texans as we say so long from Houston.